Hello everyone, Leanne here. I hope you're doing well. This was a bit of an impulse buy. I saw a video from Lau from Kenshun Crafts and he just sang nothing but praises about this pen. And when I saw his unboxing, I was mesmerized. Um, I knew I wanted to get a Leonardo pen at some point. I have been hoping and wishing and praying for a Leonardo Memento Zero Grande in Abalone. Um, and I still believe that I will be able to have that Grail pen at some point, hopefully in the near future. Um, but I still have found no luck, but I believe that the timing just isn't right. But one day I will get that Leonardo Memento Zero Grande uh, in Abalone. Um, but anyway, uh, this is my very first Leonardo pen. You know, I've been looking on Atlas Stationers and other other vendors, looking on their websites, and I just wasn't really convinced to get a Leonardo pen yet. Um, I am de desperately and patiently waiting for the uh, Leonardo Memento Zero Grande in Abalone to appear somewhere for me. And I know many of you, I mean, Karina, for example, has been so great at you know, finding, finding pens. Uh, for example, there was a Leonardo uh, Mother of Pearl that was available on the virtual pen show. And I was almost convinced that that was my grail pen, but then I remembered it was Abalone, not Mother of Pearl. So the search continues. Okay, let me just go ahead and open it. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, okay. Three, two, one. There we go. My very own Leonardo pen. So the pen clip has like this little wheel, this little disc that spins, which is really cool. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna have to open my blinds a little bit so you can see this. Oh my word. Can you see that? So only 150 pens were manufactured, and I don't know if you could see it here, but it says Leonardo for gold spot. I have number 108 out of 150, and it's got a really cute tree emblem. And I absolutely love this pen. For a long time, I've had a, I've had an affinity or a connection to trees in their rootedness, in their ability to stand firm no matter what the environment throws at them, their resilience, and most recently, as I just say this all out loud, I'm reminded of the banyan tree in Maui. Its resilience to withstand uh, just catastrophic fires and still be able to survive and remain and hopefully thrive as well. So I absolutely love the resin of this pen. And as I look at it, there is a swirling sea of lime green to Kelly green to hunter forest green. And then the browns, um, it's like this beautiful sort of copper brown down to really like a dark uh, umber or a dark, uh, a dark brown. And um, I'm just really glad that this is the first Leonardo pen that I purchased. If you look up close, there is actual diamond dust or diamond glitter, like actual diamonds in here. For one, I, I love the way that it feels in my hands. Um, it's got some weight to it. I'm just in a moment of stillness right now. This is the first time that I'm holding a Leonardo pen and I just like the feel of it. Um, it's not too, it's not thin at all. Um, it has a beautiful weight to it. And when I post it, yeah, it's just nicely balanced. I hope that this camera is able to capture just the brilliance of this resin. 
the cap reminds me a little bit of like, um, I guess you call them burls, B-U-R-L's in wood. Um, but when you do a cross section of that wood, they turn into these beautiful uh, patterns. Um, and and uh, I'll, I'll put some pictures of the, of the burls that I'm thinking of. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And I'm getting some beautiful afternoon, late afternoon sun. I'm, I'm really mesmerized and I could see why Lau was ooing and aahing, gasping really. And I think he really sold it um, in his video. So thank you Lau for recommending this pen. Size comparison, here is the Esterbrook Esty in uh, Botanical Garden. Here is my Pilot Custom 743. And here is the Lamy All Star. I would say the Memento Zero seems a little bit heavier. They seem very similarly weighted. Um, but yeah, I would say these are very similar. Um, but if I were to uncap the pens. They look, I mean, the grip section looks very similar, except um, the SD is a little bit more straight, and then the Memento Zero has a little bit of a tapering effect as you get closer to the nib. Okay. I also have the Twisby here as well, the Twisby Eco. As you can tell, The grip sections look most similar um, compared to the Esterbrook SD and the Pilot Custom 743. The Twisby and the Lamy are more similar in that they have a slightly longer grip section. Let's see, the Lamy also has the longest grip section, but as far as the, the shape, um, the three of these are all circular, whereas the Twisby and uh, the Lamy all-star have a little bit of that um, triangular that tri grip as well so these three are probably the most similar as far as a silhouette goes i'm going to cap these pens really quick i mean even just lining them up here in the sun you can just see how glorious the resin is here in the leonardo memento zero um, as you can see, as I'm just lining them up quickly, the Pilot Custom 743 kind of has the has a slightly long, longer um, body among the three of them, and then the SD and the Leonardo Memento Zero are very similar, I would say. And in this really bright direct light, um, there are times as I turn the pen where it's almost like I could see a little bit of purple. So as I unscrew, kind of a standard cartridge, standard cartridge converter. So now I'm trying to decide what ink to ink this up in. I'm gonna do a quick flip through of my ink swatch book. Gosh, if I wasn't so afraid of um, glitter particles, I would definitely, I would definitely consider Dominant Industries Autumn Forest. I think I know. I think it's going to be Sailor Shikiori uh, Tokiwa Matsu. You know, me being so early in my fountain pen journey, I misspelled. There's Tokawa Matsu and there's Togawa Matsu, but I think it's Tokiwa Matsu. So I'll be right back. Okay. All right, so the reason why I'm picking Tokiwa Matsu is because it's a beautiful green with a little bit of like this sheening that looks a little brown. So I think it's gonna look really beautiful together in this pen. Why don't I provide an ink swatch here? I'm going to use this glass teaspoon today. 
just to change it up a little bit. Wow, put a lot of ink down. We'll see how big this circle gets. Wow, it's a lot of ink. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I have it inked. I don't know if the camera can pick this up. As this galactic, as this huge ink swatch is drying, I wonder if you could see the subtle, maybe not so subtle, brown sheeting. That warm copper brown sheeting that's starting to surface. Oh, this is Leonardo Momento. Zero. And this is in a fine nib, and I don't know if I even mentioned that in the, the beginning of the video. Wow, okay, this is Foresta. Umbra. Very smooth writing experience. Um, it doesn't have the sort of feedback that some sailor nibs have. Um, it's not scratchy. And it's not so, um, it doesn't glide as smoothly as like a pilot a fountain pen or a, a pilot nib would. It's kind of in between. Foresta Umbra and the ink is Sailor Shikiori Toki Wamatsu. Absolutely love it. I am so happy with this purchase. Okay, and I'm gonna bring the ink swatch close up. Now that the ink swatch has dried, it dries pretty quickly, considering the amount of ink that I placed on the paper. writing sample, the camera may not capture it, but there is a little bit of sheening. So it is a wet, fine writer. Oh, it glides so smoothly across the page. Wow, okay. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you, Lau, for this gorgeous, gorgeous pen recommendation. I am so happy with it. And I am now officially inducted into the Leonardo family, my first fountain pen from Leonardo. Thanks for watching. Take care.